Hello YouTube and Facebook people, welcome back to my videos. Today is October 1st, which means it is the beginning of Vlogtober. Um, <laughs> I'm a little nervous to even mention Vlogtober in this video because I don't know if I can do 31 days of vlogging and videos. I don't have that much to say, but I am going to try. I bet an easier challenge for me would be 31 days of not talking at all. But that wouldn't make for a very interesting video. So yeah, my friend Lynn from Here's Lynn, you can find her on YouTube and on Instagram at Here's Lynn. I'll link her down below. She tried to get our little chat group, our reseller chat group to get involved with it. And I don't think anybody was really up for it. It is a lot of work, or at least it sounds like a lot of work I've never tried before. But I saw her video today and it looked really fun, so I'm going to try. Just a fair warning, some of these videos are probably going to get pretty random because 31 days of, of me is a lot to handle. So yeah, day one, here we go. I've been cleaning shoes all day long for Poshmark. I'll show you the shoes here in a second. But first, I just wanted to show you the items that I use to clean and prep my shoes. Um, if it's something like canvas, I will go ahead and just throw them suckers in the wash with a load of laundry and it typically comes out pretty clean. Um, but I do have this basket full of cleaning supplies and whatnot. I'm not going to show you everything. I'm just going to show you the stuff that I used. First thing that I think everyone should have are magic eraser <laughs> erasers, the Mr. Clean kind. Like that's pretty gross, but that's what happens. So I got those. Those live under the sink because that's how gross they get. Um, next, I have a measuring tape, which I use for clothing, but I also use these to measure the heel on items because inevitably somebody's going to ask. So you might as well just get it done and over with. Um, Goo Gone I use for like sticker residue that's left over on the bottom of the shoes. To get those stickers off, I see people use like those fancy scrapers. I recommend you get one. I don't have one. I use my thumbnail and my finger hurts really bad right now from scraping stickers. That'll be my next purchase. Um, a pair of little sharp scissors to get like little straggly, scraggly, straggly, to get little hairs off of there, you know what I mean? Um, next, my towel of choice for cleaning shoes, either like dusting or even getting some dirt off, is the brand Norwex. My old rags I use for cleaning my shoes and they work really, really good. Um, they also work good too on canvas. If there's like a bunch of fluffies, you just use this and it takes all the fluffies off instead of trying to use a lint roller. Uh, let's see, next thing I use is a shoe brush. This works really good for shining your leathers. Um, a good video is, there's one by One Thread at a Time. She has a shoe cleaning video. I'll link that down below as well, but these work really, really good. Um, the next item, last item um, for my leather shoes is this shoe polish. There's a brown one and a black one. There's our motorcycle right on cue. A brown one and a black one and then it comes with the little rag that goes with it to buff out the polish. I get these at the Dollar Tree. You get all this for one dollar and this works pretty good. I have tried to use like higher end polishes and conditioners. So far this is my favorite. Um, on my next round of cleaning I'll actually try and compare it to the Doc Martin brand. So we will compare and see. But yeah that is all I use as far as prepping goes. That's all the stuff I use. Today I am listing or photographing 21 pairs of shoes. It was a long day of cleaning. I feel like I am a dirty shoe. <laughs> but yeah, I'm going to flip you guys around. I'm going to show you all the shoes we're going to do. And I'm actually going to show you my light box that I purchased off of Amazon. I used it one other time and I loved it. I hate listing shoes. I hate photographing shoes. Cleaning, it's hit or miss because like you can just sit down. I was watching Downton Abbey for a few hours while I cleaned shoes. So that part's kind of nice. Um, but photographing was always a pain in the butt. But with this light box, it's huge. And I'm guessing I can put boots in. I haven't tried to do tall boots. I do have a pair that I'm going to experiment with. 
So yeah, I'll show you the box. I have an affiliated link down below for it if you want to check it out. I got it on Amazon. I think I paid like $140, but it's actually on sale right now for, I think it said $118, which is a crazy good deal in my opinion. But you can see, I'll show you the box once we get to that part of the video. So here are the shoes that I'll be listing. I cleaned all of these and they are ready to go. Voiceover Valerie, two thumbs up. <laughs> so here's the light box that I use for photographing my shoes. I got this one off of Amazon. It's the foldable portable studio light box. Um, yeah, it's pretty slim, easy to store. The straps right here that you carry, that's also the opening of the box. Um, there's Velcro, one piece on each side. So you just undo the Velcro like so. That's what holds it together and it does a pretty good job. And then this handle right here, you pull up on. I use one hand to keep it steady. And as you can see, I do struggle a little. I think if I would have done a faster motion, it would have went a little bit smoother. And then there's Velcro in the top corner, so I'm kind of pointing at it. There's one on each side. You just peel and a bright white strip of cloth comes down and that's what you'll be photographing on. So up on top, there is this zippable pouch and this is where you will find your power cord and your manual to it. I keep mine in the bag just to keep everything organized. And yeah, there's the little manual that comes with it. So here's what you get in that baggie. There's the power supply. This goes into the box. This next one is what you plug into the wall and you just connect them. It can only go in one way, so they make it foolproof, which is nice. Um, yeah, you know what to do. Plug that in the wall, plug that in the box, and you're ready to go. And that just plugs in. It's on the left side. There's a little piece of Velcro. You lift it up and plop right in so this one's pretty nice there's this black piece you unvelcro it from the ceiling and it comes down and it has these little windows so you can make your box even brighter and they use magnets to open and close or you can take it with it open so here i am putting some boots in and that's all there is to it really put your camera in square mode and just start taking your photos it's as easy as that, and here's a little uh, tour of inside my box. Pretty simple. Yeah, I think it works pretty good. And then, like I was saying, you can close this black tarp and open up this window. And then it gets even brighter because you're containing more of the light, so you can have the view from right here. There's actually three windows on the side, which is really nice. Or, if you need a top view, that's what this little hole is for. And then boom, there you go, there's a top view. Another nice thing about this box is it's a 25 by 30 by 25 inches. So you see that space up there above these boots. These are 15 inches tall. So that's a lot of space in there, which is awesome. Um, you're like, Valerie, how do you get your boots to stand up? Um, well, obviously I stuff it full of Gollum. <laughs> but Valerie, I don't have Gollum. No worries. You grab any stuffed animal, and you put it in your boot, and you're good to go. Uh, the disassembly is just as easy. Unplug it where you plugged it in, obviously. So you take that out right there. And then you come over here, and you unvelcro your floor, and you're going to stick it back up where you got it from. Like that. Like, see how big that box is? I bet I could fit inside of there. And then you're going to take your tarp, and you're gonna stick it back up to the ceiling with the Velcro up there. It's not hard, it's just a little awkward because like I said, the box is pretty big. And then finally you're gonna grab the back of it and pop it up and yeah, it scared me because it just collapses and boom, it's done. Yeah, make sure to Velcro both sides closed so it doesn't try and open up on you when you're trying to walk around with it. Um, grab your cords. Unplug it from the wall, unplug it from each other. And I like to put mine back in the bag just to keep it a little more organized and neat. And then you just zip it back into that pouch and you're ready to go. I like how um, organized and slim it is. Like this is just a really easy light box. I don't have anything to compare it to, but I really 
I really think it's neat. And that's it. Dunzo. So that light box I got off Amazon, and like I said, when I purchased it, it was almost $140, but I see that they dropped the price. I'm not sure if it's a sale or if they dropped the price, but it's now $118.07, which is a pretty great deal for it. Um, the name of it is Amazon Basics Portable Foldable Photo Studio Box with LED light, 25 by 30 by 25 inches, which is pretty big. I measured those boots that I put in there, the tall ones, and they were 15 inches tall and there was still plenty of room to go. So you can photograph some pretty big stuff in there. Um, I really like it. I will say it is a little heavier. Like if you go to the website on Amazon and look at it, there's like this tiny little lady toting it around. It's a little heavy, but you're probably not gonna be carrying it around too many places. Um, I do like that it folds up really small. It's easy to open and it's easy to close. Um, the people in the tutorial on Amazon do it a lot smoother than I do, but this is only my second time using it. Um, again, so far I love it. Um, but yeah, that's my, uh, my shoe video for today. If you saw anything you're interested in, which I guess you didn't get too big of a glimpse, maybe tomorrow I'll do a haul of all the shoes that I list today or that I photograph today. I'm not sure when they're actually going to get listed. Um, but yeah, this was day one of Vlogtober. There goes the motorcycle again. <laughs> um, make sure to go check out Lynn's channel. She is hardcore and going for it. And I'm excited to see what she has in store for Vlogtober. So Lynn, I'm so excited for 31 days of your videos. It's like a really special treat. Um, yeah, I'll link her down below. Go check her out, go encourage her because this seems really daunting. At least to me it does. Like this is a lot of videos. So, yeah, go show some support. I'll have her link down below. I'll have my Poshmark link down below. I'll have my Instagram link down below. And lately I've been linking um, a bunch of my favorite YouTubers that I watch religiously. <laughs> so go check all of them out too. Show them some support. Uh, yeah, that's everything. I will see you on day two tomorrow. Bye.